uh, diabetes and multiple sclerosis and all these other chronic conditions that are costing a lot of money. Um, so we're on the right path. We, we do have to tackle these comp complicated issues. There is a lot of waste out in the and inefficiency, inefficiency in the system. We've got to root that out of the process. Uh, we've got to make it easier for patients to obtain preventative care. We've got to focus on wellness and nutrition and, and preventing people from getting sick in the first place so that they don't get into those catastrophic illnesses. And these are all the different, we've got to tackle medical malpractice. Uh, we've got to uh, tackle the end of life where uh, a, a huge portion of spending goes on uh, in either the last six days or the last six months of life of trying to preserve people when perhaps hospice and uh, palliative care might be a better, a better path for folks and, and certainly a higher quality that's been proven. So lots of different issues that we're all trying to tackle here at the state level. I'd like to see those replicated once we finish that bill in the next year uh, at the federal level as the next step on top of that federal law. But let's use it as a platform to move down the road where everybody is guaranteed health care uh, that's affordable and, and high access and high quality in this country. Thanks. Thank you. Um, I think, all right, we, uh, we, we're extremely efficient in our in our time, but it's uh, it's approaching 8.30 and we wanted to get out of here by 8.30, so we're going to, uh, we're going to move to a closing statement. Herb Robinson is going to start. We'll give one minute closing. And, um, and I want to, you know, take this opportunity to thank everybody. Our congressman couldn't be here tonight, but he did pass on to, um, to the candidates his best. And as, you know, Tom Conroy just mentioned something about um, uh, fighting disease. Republicans are attacking NIH funding. NIH funding here in Massachusetts is the lifeblood to, to this economy. And it's something that, uh, that he has, has continued to fight against, and I would encourage our candidates to continue to fight against any cuts in NIH money. So, Herb Robinson. Okay. Um, again, I, I think that I am the one who has the most street cred to um, appeal to the independent voters and beat Scott Brown. Um, but if I'm not, or if I am, we need to start now. Again, I want to emphasize that. Don't wait for the convention to get involved in the campaign. Get involved in the campaign now. Um, we all need your help. And I'd like to thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. Mayor City Bryant. Uh, I'm sorry, City Warren. Christina Joel Bryant. I want to thank you all uh, for uh, being here. Thank you for uh, giving me and us the opportunity to speak to you. I have a, a three year old daughter at home, and I have a 13 week old son. And I think about them every single time I come out on the campaign trail. I think about what kind of world they're going to walk into when they get older, what kind of opportunities they're going to have, what kind of environment they will be in. We need to challenge every member of the United States Congress and Senate, every leader in government, every candidate, to put this country first when they are making decisions. I want the standard to be the standard that men and women that serve overseas have in uniform. They don't have the luxury of squabbling over the differences between them. They have to put their country first because their lives are in the line. Every single member of the Senate and Congress needs to think about the decisions that are being made for our future the same way. Get this country back to work. We build the middle class. Make sure we invest in all the things that made generations of Americans gave them the opportunity, like my family had, to be successful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, everybody, for coming today and listening to all of us. I do ask for your support, and I would love to have the support of everyone in this room. What do I want you to remember about me? I want you to remember that I am a fighter, and again, that I also her has street cred. I have marched in the streets for women's rights, for LGBT rights, and for immigrant rights. And I actually have been physically threatened, spit on, and experienced that. So I do not back down from a fight. Working in the federal area of immigration law, an often hostile and very complicated area, I have the chops to go to the United States Senate because again, I know the federal law and how it works, how it doesn't work, 
and I advocate for the people until I can do no more, and when I can do no more, what happens? I win, like, like I've been saying repeatedly throughout this talk. And so what I bring to the middle class and unions and seniors and the protection of Social Security, I will not have done.